Hi, my name is Ludmil Pelov. I'm a senior principal product manager in the data science and AI services team at Oracle Cloud. Today's session is going to be about best practices on end-to-end -end ML ops and machine learning development at Oracle. Before I continue with presentation, I would like to make you familiar with our safe harbor statement as we are going to talk about products and um, releases that maybe would happen in the future. In today's fast-moving world, the statistics show that many enterprises struggle uh, to rapidly bring innovation in the AI and machine learning space. 40% of the organizations making investments in AI do not report business gains, and Gartner reports that only 53% of the projects make it from prototyping to production. One of the reasons is because it's easy to prototype, uh, but not easy to bring a production-ready application to um, to to do your customers. Some of the AI machine learning challenges are um, acquire and government data. Um, every AI and machine learning project starts with the ability to access and store data and be able to work with that data and transform the data. Next step in the process of developing AI applications is the building, man training, and managing of your models. For this, you will need the tools to be able for your teams to be able to collaborate, to reuse code, to reuse models, to compare models. And then finally, once um, model and AI application is built, you have to have the ability to deploy it, packaging, and be able to monitor the production state of the model and be able to maintain it and easily replace it. Many of um, these uh, challenges could be addressed with what is called MLOps. MLOps usually refers to the standardization, streamlining, and automation of machine learning lifecycle management. ML assets are um, trained like other software assets within um, continuous integration and continu uh, continuous delivering environment. ML models are deployed alongside the services that wrap them in the services that consume them as part of unified release process. And ML Ops is a set of technologies and practices to rapidly deploy and manage scalable and government machine learning applications in production environment. ML Ops pulls heavily from the concepts of the DevOps, which streamlines the practice of software development and uh, deployment. You may be familiar with DevOps workflow diagram, which is similar to MLOps diagram, but the DevOps lifecycle includes practices like building, testing, continuous deployment, and monitoring that apply to machine learning application practices as well. In MLOps, continuous integration refers to the validation and integration of new data and ML models, and continuous deployment refers to releasing that model to production. Continuous training is unique for ML models and refers to retrain of ML models for redeployment. Retrained models should always undergo a process that assures the quality of the model. So why is ML ops so important? Um, while DevOps and ML ops have quite a bit in common, there is one critical difference. Um, whereas software code usually is relatively static, data is always changing. This means machine learning models are constantly learning and adapting to new inputs. This drifting data is why the continuous re oh sorry. <laughs> this drifting data is why the continuous um, retraining of ML models is so critical. If the model isn't updated to reflect the new data, its predictions could become less and less accurate. Due to this degradation in the models performance over time, it is important to retrain the model on new data as quickly as possible. This is where the continuous integration in MLOps provides great benefits. At the same time, every retrained model should be cross-validated and undergo a process that assures the quality of the model predictions. In Leveling the um, uh, automation and automation level of MLOps, we usually talk about MLOps level zero, which is a the first level where most of the processes are mostly uh, are manual processes. It's common practice to determine those maturity levels in an MLOps solution as level of automation in process. Level zero, as um, shown in this diagram, is entirely manual ML flow the scripts, uh, the interactive process, and everything that you do in your notebooks is something that it's manually done by your data scientists. 
there is a disconnect between the ML, uh, the machine learning oper um, model and the operations. In, in um, there are infrequent release iterations because it's just not easy to be able to produce new deployment and to release this to production environment. There is no continuous integration and continuous development in place and per, per model deployment is always very tedious. Level one of machine learning automation or continuous introduces continuous training of the model but automate, by automating this using machine learning pipelines. This enables already rapid experiments where the ML experiment steps are orchestrated and then automatically. There, it enables continuous retraining in production, experimental operation symmetry. Uh, it is modularized code of components and pipelines, and we have already the ability of continuous delivering of models. Level two uh, introduces the CI/CD pipeline automation, which is a already rapid and reliable update of pipelines in production with robust automated CI/CD system. Retrain models. Uh, you can retrain models daily, hourly, update them in minutes, and redeploy on thousands of servers simultaneously. The main capability introduced here is the code source control and automation triggering of actions based on code changes in production. To solve the modern AI machine learning project challenges, we introduced the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Data Science Service, which provides three uh, key components. <clears throat> empowers the data scientists the way they know and want to provide access to automated workflows and best and the best of open source packages and streamlines approach to build models um, collaborative environment which enables data science teams to share and produce models in structured and secure way and it's enterprise grade fully managed platform built to meet the needs of modern enterprises Following diagram shows a MS, ML Ops high-level architecture in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Um, in this example, ML um, um, Ops architecture is ba based on Oracle Cloud services, uh, which shows um, the life cycle from um, accessing, managing, and government data, development experiments, then build and deploy, and then runtime and operations of the actual production environment. We're going to go through any to each of these levels, and we're going to introduce the Oracle products that will enable you to achieve this uh, high-level architecture. The first step is the access and managing data. Usually, you would need to be able to ingest the data, for which we provide a tool in Oracle Cloud Service that it's called data integration. It's a fully managed data ingestion and transformation. It is a fully, uh, we provide a data catalog and data flow additionally for uh, be able to manage and govern the data, processing the data and store the data. All these tools have fully managed self-service enterprise data management and government capabilities, and it's fully integrated with the Oracle AI and the data science cloud platform and services. Once this information is stored and ready to use, we can move on to development and experiment phase. This is our collaborative, um, this is our development environment, which enables uh, collaborative development uh, for building, training, and experiments with your data. You can store version and uh, uh, model versions, evaluate model candidates, and trigger ML pipelines. Here we are providing some familiar tools in the AI machine learning and data science space like notebooks, um, fully managed uh, ML pipelines uh, service, data labeling capabilities, and jobs for um, repeatedly executing batch processes and uh, distributed training. The life cycle of this development is usually from data exploration and preparation feature engineering and selection, model training and evaluation, and then uh, storing a candidate models to the model catalog and version them. Model catalog has also the ability to trigger pipelines for uh, model deployment and model evaluation if this is necessary. Once a ca um, candidate model is available, we introduce the ability to build and deploy those models. During the process of building and deploying the model, um, you probably would like to also be able to validate that model, um, release that model to pre-production or production environment, and then 
access that model from the outside world. The ML pipelines enable all those steps um, from building, deploying, validation, and release new candidate models automatically triggers um, and can be automatically triggered on customer specified events. And it enables seamless model endpoint access from outside world like mobile applications, your Apex application, or another cloud services if this is necessary. Once model is deployed, um, very important next step is going to be monitoring and operations of that model or the ability to be able to deploy applications based on that model. For example, as mentioned, you can use Apex, but you can also develop um, mobile applications or you can um, access this from uh, outside world, for example, like the AI services um, to be able to um, execute operations against the model directly. <clears throat> this model uh, monitoring and operations involves model management, model monitoring and retraining, the ability to detect drifts, and of course, the ability to deploy and scale up and down the model depending on your needs. If you're interested to learn more about the OCI Data Science Service, um, here we provide several links that will enable you to set up your Oracle Data Science environment. We also have a GitHub uh, open source support, a repository with, which includes our notebooks, tutorials, code examples. You can also visit our public documentation and YouTube videos. And Oracle offers an Oracle Cloud free trial a 30 days trial with $300 free credit, which gives you access to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Data Science Service as well, where you can try our examples. Thank you very much um, for attending this uh, virtual presentation and see you next time.